Okay, let's do this, guys. We're gonna have a marriage in our chat. H clarinet. Are you getting married again, bro? You fucking cheater. Are you getting married again? All right, guys, it's that time of the fucking goddamn stream where we have to bless two of our lovely viewers with a wedding when one asks for the other in marriage. Oh, H. Clarinet has never been married. Lopes, can you marry me to granny, please? Yes. You know what? We could have, well, let me do it for Trevor and Clarinet because it's their wedding and I don't want to make Trevor feel like it's not just his wedding. But I'll tell you what, Trevor, are you down for a four-way wedding from granny to cardboard cowboy? I'll let you decide. They can come in at, they can come in first if you want. They can open up for you in concert, in wedding concert. It's up to you though, because you're the one that asked in, in marriage. So it's totally up to you. If you don't want, I'll tell them both to screw off. I want CBC's money. Also, I love him. Oh my god. A marriage between you guys, like publicly known, would probably be not the hottest thing I've ever seen, but the best thing I've ever heard of and seen. Do it? What did Trevor say? Yo, John, I really like you. John, what up, baby? It's always good to see you, my brother. Also, thank you guys for getting us back up again, dude. We're fucking almost back to fucking 2,000 subs. You guys are hot. Um, What if we pushed graphics cards together? Oh, that'd be so hot. Just seeing two of my favorite fucking... Oh, two of my favorite people. Two of my favorite people together, yeah. Two of my favorite people together conjoining fucking ethernet cables and mixing it up a little bit. Fuck it. Four-way wedding since Ace Clarinet is my uh, IRL girlfriend anyways, too. So, you know what? Let's fucking do it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, can I get some grapefruits thrown in the chat? Let's do it! We got a four-way four wedding! Four wedding. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first off, we have Cardboard Cowboy standing to my right in his beautiful cardboard tuxedo and cardboard cowboy hat looking absolutely amazing and fantastic. He's got on his spurs are no longer jingle jangling for just anybody. Now they're jingle jangling for one of the most beautiful ladies on Twitch. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, and non fine so fine. Give your grapefruits together for the bride to be. Granny comes in wearing one of her very beautiful fucking table. She she uh she dressed herself after one of her very favorite tablecloths that she has tea parties on, and she turned it into a wedding dress. The veil, nice and old school, traditional white, coming on in and saying hello to everybody, doing the fucking doing the, the presidential wife wave to everybody that's here today. Shout out to the tea party. We got all sorts of people from all different communities for this four-way wedding. Granny coming on down, holding her dress up, looking absolutely beautiful and amazing. Coming on in, spinning. Sparkles coming off of the dress, looking absolutely fantastic. Cardboard starts crying down from his eyes. He looks to the side and looks to me and goes, God damn it, she's hot. And I'm like, Damn right she is, boy. And his fucking tear comes down his fucking foot face and it sogs up a little certain part of his cardboard body because it's cardboard and it's wet and tears. She comes down to my left. Granny, thank you for joining us. Today we join each other, ladies and gentlemen, to show you that age doesn't matter. Whether you're flesh or cardboard doesn't matter. The most important thing to have is love, okay? Uh, but no bestiality or stuff like that. That's weird. But today, we are here to celebrate love, ladies and gentlemen, and that's why we are here. So I'm going to ask the bride and the groom, Cardboard, do you take Granny to be your lawfully wedded Granny in sickness and in hell till death do you part? Yay or nay in the chat. And Granny, while we're at it, do you take this beautiful Cardboard boy to be your lawfully wedded Cardboard handsome man in sickness and in hell till death do you part? Cowboy says, fuck yes I do. That's me doing his uh, his little revolver pop shoot that, he, that hip shot that he does. Granny, do you take this cardboard man to be your lawfully wedded cardboard in sickness and in health till death you part? She says, sheesh, yes sir. Well, if anybody else opposes, speak now or forever hold your peace. Because chances are, 
Granny's gonna be holding cardboard's piece at the end of the night. <laughs> With permission, of course. Throw your grapefruits up! Throw your grapefruits up! I take a grapefruit in the air, I put it on the on the ring finger of cardboard cowboy. I grab another grapefruit, I put it on the ring finger of Granny. Ladies and gentlemen, with the power invested in me, I now pronounce you Cardboard and Granny. Now, you may kiss the Granny Bride. Congratulations. They kiss each other. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And they all run off happily ever after on Douglas with cans and shit fucking in the background their little can thing that just married people do and there's happiness everywhere it's great people are throwing rice grapefruits uh uh fucking tea tea packages and great uh, very beautiful and now on to our main wedding of the day ladies and gentlemen these guys are gonna get the fucking uh the uh erotic dancer fucking megaphone ladies and gentlemen Oh my god. Hold on one second. Let's give it up for John. <laughs> Yo, guys, that's John, my IRL friend. John's coming in like, I want to get married too, bitch. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up. Pinkies in the air, three fruits in the air. For the one and only pilot Trevor, ladies and gentlemen. Gonna be a Navy boy very soon. We love him to death. He's been a member of this community for such a long time. Standing there in a hot little navy suit. Mm. Looking like a little sex ass pixie stick. And then we have our beautiful clarinet wife, bride to be, coming on in, twirling, dancing, taking some moves from Granny, throwing a twerk in there too. Is that crumping? Is the bride crumping? Waving to everybody as she crumps on down to the aisle, comes over. Blows a kiss to Trevor. Gets on my left side. Trevor on my right. What a beautiful couple we have here today, ladies and gentlemen. Showing you that love can never be overwhelming. But only just the perfect amount when it's always love. Love blooms here today, and there's nothing that's going to stop us. Nothing! Vibes going, DRV's in the chat. Trevor, do you take this beautiful clarinetted wife to be your lawfully wedded beautiful clarinet in sickness and in health till death do they part? Say yes or no in the chat right now and let us know. And clarinet, do you she says I do? Can I kiss her yet? No, come slow down. Horny little bitch. Clarinet, do you take this hot handsome navy boy? To roam the seas of your heart in sickness and in health till death do you part. Yay or nay in the chat right now. She says, I tell it's dead. I don't know why I give all the, the brides like a southern bell accent, but it feels good that way. And she says, I tell it's dead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if anybody opposes this, speak now or forever hold your peace. Throw up your grapefruits. Throw your grapefruits up to the chat. Catch a grapefruit with my right hand, a grapefruit with my left hand. Put a grapefruit ring on the ring finger of H. Clarinet, and a grapefruit ring on the ring finger of my boy Trevor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our favorite part of the session, where the Navy boy bends over his woman. Not like that, like, like, he does like, you know, the, aren't the Navy guy when they, when they dip the woman, you know what I'm saying. Dips his woman over, kisses her on the mouth, gives her the most romantic fucking smooch of his life and her life. And with the power invested in me, I now pronounce you Navy man and clarinet woman. Congratulations. You may now dip the bride, you horny little bastard, and kiss her. Congratulations. Today, love wins, ladies and gentlemen. Today, love wins. wins. And 
I'm still fucking single. I'm sitting alone in the VIP.